I was tasked, uh, well, Nick found out that I had a sewing machine for somehow, some reason, I don't know how, he found out I had a sewing machine, so he asked me, did I do some sewing? I said, sure, yes, yes I do. And uh, he said, well, he got some seats that he wanted me to take a look at, and uh, he wanted me to see if I can do some uh, repair on them. I said, okay, well, one thing led to another, and I said, I can make the whole pattern if you want me to. So I made the pattern, and he said, oh, you did that pretty good. He said, get to sew a little bit. I said, yeah, I sew. So next thing I know, I start uh, sewing uh, some of the, the backs and the seat cushions for the train. 29 uh, seats and 29 backs. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And I gave him my first uh, demo. Uh, I showed him how, how good my work was, and he said, okay, I want you to do the rest of it, the 28 of them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I'm doing now. I went from driving a bus to sewing seats. <laughs> One of the bus drivers said, well, I, I can, I took upholstery in high school and I've done a little bit of upholstery. I can, I can make seat covers. You give me the material. So I went out to uh, Hobby Lobby, got him some material and gave him one of the sets of seats. I said, here you go, see what you can do. And uh, a couple of days later, he brought me back a, a real pretty, nicely covered seat. All right, what I'm using is as a, needle with nylon thread and nylon thread is actually strong enough for me to pull it tight so it can tuck it in and uh, you actually have to get it into the grooves once you sew it in and just pull it through and that tucks it in and you take another two inches now this is also a nylon strip that we to have sewn onto the fabric and it's, it's real strong so it will hold Hold it real tight. And so Floyd says, well, how much material is gonna cost? And I said, well, it'd be a couple thousand dollars. Well, in the end, it took more than a couple thousand dollars. As, as, you dug, as we dug into it, we found uh, uh, things deeper and deeper that, that uh, needed, needed fixed. So my idea of the project was kind of, you know, I thought, okay, we're gonna go small here. Uh, so we started that initially and and Nick said, well, what do you think about this? And so we we're talking about another part of the restoration inside here. And I said, yeah, I mean, you know, if you guys can do that, that would be great. And one thing led to another. And before you know it, we're, we're into a lot of details on everything from not just doing the floor and the ceiling, but now we're talking about replacing the windows. Roof joists in the, in the passenger cars. Replacing the window shades. Some of the roof studs. Uh, the seating. Some of the metal had to be replaced. Uh, a lot of things. Everything. And um, I, you know, and I'm thinking, wow, this is going to be a huge project. You know, that's going to take a lot of commitment, a lot of time. And I said, well, I know, but so what? in Nick's vocabulary, can't is not there. We just kept plugging at it and, uh, and uh, eventually we, we won the battle. So 